Oh, this is getting worse. So much reflection. I think both gardens have moved. Yeah. That one's supposed to be against the fence. I'm pretty sure that one's supposed to be down farther. And uh, that's the fire pit out there. Jeez. It's like a snowstorm but rain. And it's almost up to uh, the blue, blue one up there. And it's sitting on top of a railway tie. So officially the potato one has moved too. Oh my god. Well, uh, might have interesting garden for the rest of the year. It's only been like five minutes too. The shovel's trying to make a break for it now, too. It's floating away. Wind keeps changing direction. Christmas lights. Uh, lost power too. I'm assuming that this high water has knocked out the power boxes in the backyard. That's all I can think of. And of course somebody's got to walk out in the water. In the rain. Jeez. Look at that truck. It's uh, halfway up the duels. Wow. Yay. Our leftover wood from the project of um, new flower beds floating through the yard. Oh, the lawnmower is probably swamped. It's yeah. just under the deck. It's literally falling apart. We didn't get a finished to. Uh, no, that's the spare wood, it. isn't it? It's the garden right there. Oh no. Thanks for ruining my video. <sighs> Uh, it's no point anyway. Okay, well, you're in my way. <sighs> oh. Oh, that's focusing on some shit. Hmm. Park Avenue. Oh, it's up to the bottom of it. It's up to the bottom of the car. Tires are floating. Stuff off that shed floating. It's like touching the bottom of the car. Oh. Hope this is as high as it's getting. Oh, poor Park Avenue. 
It's up in, in the bottom of the exhaust tip there. My wife's truck. Uh, get out of here. That's the second step that, that, that it's up to. At least my lawn looks good now. It's not, it doesn't look like it's completely full of weeds. Gardens floated away. We had um, that fabric stuff down, stop the weeds. Your sirens going. See, I thought the wood at the back was this stuff down here, but I I can't tell if it's even moved or not. Our air conditioner. It's like what well, I passed the second step on the deck. Oh, and this guy's backing his van out. It's starting to rain. There's a guy on a wave board or something. Jeez. Oh, this is horrible. This guy is a little braver than most. It's storming again. At least he's got good board control. Power flicked back on and off a couple times. And that was it. I still hear a ton of sirens screaming. This is this is crazy. So I don't know. Pray for the park Ave. I think the water has gone down just a smidge. But judging by a mud flap touching the water there in front of our running board. Hope it doesn't get any higher. That's the neighbor's garbage bin. Like that neighbor. He came home with his truck, and people are trying to drive down the street here when we were out there. I told him to, you know, go away. Like, don't be driving through this because the water wave from the vehicles is like probably going to be enough to do some damage. But this, this is crazy. Well, there's where our things were. You can see the water level on the fence. The wife's garden. Jigsaw's out on the deck. Uh, we reached over and grabbed the lawnmower out from underneath here because it was over top of the engine. Uh, that's my knee. Gonna go check on the gardens down here. Hi, Jigs. I'm walking on the cement pathway. There's where I Yeah, see the railway ties are floating. It was up to the bottom of the door on the shed. Alright, this is the end of the concrete there. And if you're walking on grass, should be gravel. Oh, yeah, there's gravel. Oh, this is turned to soup. Uh, I don't think these are moving. Oh, they are. Okay, I'm going to fix this. How's that go, the uh, log driver's waltz? <laughs> you don't want to fall and get your phone in the water. Um, yeah. So we're going to shove those and then we're going to just shove this against the fence, I think, because, yeah. Hoo wee Could be interesting. And of course we got Lucky Lou's driving by and making waves. That's always fun. And then we got to do something with this piece of fence. Let's 
Good to know the bike is still standing. You can hear hydrovac equipment going. There's where the camper normally sits. Oh, I guess the bike was in a oh, high enough spot there. Couple of my uh, little tires went away, but I don't know. I just know that those bikes. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. So I don't know. We're supposed to be getting another four inches now, according to the weather network. I think. I think I'm gonna get the Park Avenue out of here. Cause Make sure to wear yeah, rocks suck for that. That's why everyone makes fun of it, but I'm wearing dogs. Give me your nope. I think if I hug the left side I should be able to get out of here no problem. But it was up to the bottom of the car. That's crazy. it's been like an hour or so Jigsaw is out to go potty you can see how high the water was it was pretty much up to there we got somebody with beacon coming down the road the water is going down but not as good as we want the sound you hear up on Perkins Street the lift station they're hydrovacking that out as fast as they can a lot of places in town don't have power we took the Park Avenue uptown as you've probably seen in the previous picture so that it's out of the way because there's supposed to be another uh, four inches of rain coming so I don't know let's see what we can do here that's SAS power yep, yeah well I know we haven't got no power all right Jake so I'll go do some business then we're gonna go back in the house I think before the next batch gets here we should uh, barbecue <laughs> Food. so this is how we're going to charge batteries <laughs> got our leads here hooked to this guy no that's lights oh it's over here there we go time to plug in charge up so it's a few hours later it's actually like quarter to ten and uh, I don't know if you can hear it but <laughs> we're running extension cords to the fridge and freezer and running a lovely Honda generator out there because we still don't have power uh, the power went out five so five hours now no power is it quarter to 10 or was it quarter to 11? I can't remember now. Quarter to 10. So almost five hours, no power. Slowly getting power back to town. As you see, darkness. <laughs> uh, there should be a you know, city over there. So we got a light, which is a compact fluorescent out of the living room. And a fan because it's hot as balls in here. And I'm charging the jump pack. <sighs> I don't know what it's going to go for, and well, it sucks for the neighbors to have to listen to that, but yeah. So power comes back on. Uh -oh. <laughs> Next morning. Yeah, it's gone down quite a bit. <sighs> I 
can actually see the front lawn. You can see it's still pumping out the backyard. And we have a street again. I don't think we got that uh, four inches they were claiming for overnight. But for the next, uh, well, today and tomorrow, it's supposed to still rain. Could be interesting. Ah. Uh. Uh, keeps focusing on the screen. Damn it. Okay, right, well, that's not gonna work. And yeah, my poor lawnmower. Water is right up over the top of the engine. <sighs> yeah. That's where the gardens were. And that's where they are now. still dirty. Oh well. Let's see what kind of damage there is on the way to work. I got about three hours out of the generator before power came back on.